Salutations, everybody. Let's read another story together. This is a great book called No Roses for Harry. Do you see Harry? He's a very famous little black and white dog. The author of this story is Jean Zeon, and the pictures were written by Margaret Graham. This is a very old book, but it's a beautiful and cute story. I hope you like it. Now let's look at Harry there. He's a white dog with black spots, and I see his sweater. He's wearing clothes. Have you ever seen a dog that wore clothes? And on his sweater, I see yellow roses. Do you see that? But the title says, No Roses for Harry. Hmm, let's see what that means. It says Harry was a white dog with black spots, and on his birthday, he got a present from Grandma. It was a sweater with roses on it. Harry did not like it the moment he saw it. He did not like roses. Uh-oh. So Grandma got him a present, but uh, he doesn't like it. He tried it on, and it felt cozy and snug, but it says he still didn't like it. He thought it was silly. Do you see him looking in the mirror? The next day, Harry went downtown with the children, and he wore his new sweater. When people saw it, they laughed, and when dogs saw it, they barked. Harry made up his mind. He was going to lose that present. Oh, look at his face. He is not liking wearing the sweater. Poor little guy. When they went into a big store to go shopping, the children took off Harry's sweater and held it for him. That's exactly what Harry wanted. First, he tried to lose it in the pet department. Do you see his sweater? It's sitting on a table there. And Harry is running off. I guess he's hoping that they'll not see it and his sweater will become lost. But somebody found it and they brought it back to him. Then he tried to lose it in the grocery store. Do you see how he put it under the shopping cart and he's running off again? Do you think that'll work? Do you think he'll be able to get rid of that sweater? Let's see. Nope. Somebody found it and brought it back again. Poor Harry. He can't get rid of this sweater. Then it says he tried to lose it in the flower department. There's Harry running off. Do you see his sweater anywhere in the picture? Yep, it's right there. He left it on a, looks like a rose bush. Well, what do you think? Is somebody going to find it? Yes, a little boy found it and brought it back. The children did not let Harry carry the sweater anymore. They made him wear it. And they started home and poor Harry, he thought he's never going to lose this sweater. He's really sad and upset, isn't he? When he got home, his friends were waiting for him, but Harry did not feel like playing. All he did was sit, and he wondered what to do. But then he saw a loose stitch in his sweater. That's like a little string on your clothes. And he started pulling it, and then he pulled it a little more. Harry did not know it. But a bird was watching this. Now let's look carefully at the illustration. Do you see Harry down there pulling on the string? And way up here on this telephone line or electrical line, I see a little bird. And the bird is watching him. Why do you think the bird is watching Harry? In a minute, Harry had pulled out a long, long piece of his sweater. And suddenly, the bird flew down and grabbed it. Do you see that? There's the long piece of his sweater. And the bird has it in its beak. And it's flying away. 
That bird wants that string, doesn't he? He pulled and he pulled and he pulled and he pulled until the sweater was gone. Harry was so happy, he jumped with joy and he ran out of the yard. Ooh, we have to look really closely at this illustration. Do you see the bird? It's that tiny dot in the sky. And do you see how it's carrying the long, long string? That used to be Harry's sweater with the roses on it. Harry ran down the street barking, thank you, thank you to the bird. But the bird just kept on flying. It was a tiny speck in the sky. Harry came home and he was very thirsty and tired. We got a letter from Grandma, said the kid. She's coming to visit us. Uh-oh, thought Harry. Before Grandma came, everybody looked for that flower sweater. They wanted Grandma to see how nice it looked on Harry, but they weren't going to find it, were they? And Harry knew why. Do you see all the people searching the house, trying to find Harry's sweater with the roses on it? Well, Grandma came, and she said, I'll have my lunch and a nap, and then we'll go for a walk. Uh-oh. When they went for a walk, Harry barked happily, and he pulled toward the park. So they're going for a walk. Harry's happy. What are we going to see in the park? When they got there, Harry pulled harder and harder, and he stopped under a tree. You see him running toward the tree, and he's looking up. He's looking up at the top of the tree. What is he looking at, guys? Do you know? It's a nest. It's a nest made of wool, and it's the same color as Harry's sweater, said the kids. It is Grandma's sweater. Or it is Harry's sweater, said Grandma. The bird made a nest out of Harry's sweater. Do you see it? There's the bird. And the nest is green with those yellow roses. She used that string to make her bird's nest. Well, guess what? When Christmas came around, Grandma gave Harry another present. It was another sweater. But this time, it was white with black spots just like Harry's.